Hi there. Eh, karibu tukuza matunda. This is a part two of my video on what causes fruit and flower abortion. And uh, today, um, I want to show you by example of what happens to these trees. So for example, if you take a closer look here, you will notice this is the first time this tree is flowering. But something has already attacked our beautiful flowers and you can see they are no longer, we, we have not harvested any fruit, neither do we have any flower. Um, and this problem, look at those, those are a few flowers, but if you look closer here, you notice that black thing. These were flowers that had come out, but they are drying. Um, yes. So this is what is called botrytis. Um, and like I earlier said, diseases do cause uh, fruit and flower abortion. And this is a good example. Hardly have I walked into any tree tomato farm and failed to notice this problem. And it usually starts at the flower. Look at that. And if not treated, it starts now eating this branch and soon it generates to be like die back. And slowly you will notice that your trees, uh, the whole branch has now, you see that infection, that black thing that you're seeing. Uh, what right is also a fungal infection. And I've said many times, 99% of diseases that affect tree tomatoes are fungal related. Yeah, look at that, you see. Flowers has already, have already been eaten. Um, and if not checked, then you expect even those beautiful flowers that you're seeing there will equally be affected. So then, what's the cure? Um, whenever you notice a botrytis, uh, like I said, uh, this is very much prevalent when uh, we are experiencing some extreme weather conditions. Um, so there are some fungicides. Yeah, and look at that, you see? Out of that huge cluster of flowers, only one survived. So you have one fruit eh? out of that big cluster there. Um, and that's how uh, you end up with very few fruits on your, on your trees. And I remember there is a friend of mine, a do wherever you are, and uh, he was arguing that if you controlled, if you are in a position, for example, to... Let me show you another one. See? Uh, out of that cluster, you can see the rate of conversion there is bigger. So, uh, you see those uh, flowers? So, very many flowers, but you end up with very, say, a single uh, fruit. So, you're saying, if you're able to convert uh, all those, that big cluster of flowers to fruits then you would have a lot of fruits go i mean uh, that make it uh, through the cycle see so um like i've said you you see a lot of flowers um then at the end of the by the time you're harvesting them then you only have say a single fruit per cluster like you have like the case of that so make sure that you keep on scouting for pests and diseases so that you're able to convert these flowers into fruits so many 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 flowers but very few fruits um so we've already noted that problem in this farm and uh, what you're going to do is that uh, we are going to change our spraying regime you have to look for stronger fungicides that can deal with uh, uh, that can deal with the uh, botrytis and also also ensure that you also remove uh, you also remove those um, affected branches because if you leave them uh, die back will set in and eventually the whole tree will be consumed um, the other thing that I would also want to mention uh, about flowering uh, ensure at least you have an apiary you know you have at least a beehive in in your farm and what beehives do is that uh, they have bees which are our main pollinators of these flowers um, so one other reason why you find the rate of conversion uh, being low is that the more bees you have in your farm uh, if there are presence of bees 
then the more likely you're going to see more flowers and those farmers for example who grow passion know very well that if the flowers are not well pollinated then you end up with uh, you know flower abortion fruits falling down uh, some funny looking uh, uh, fruits and eventually you have very few uh, uh, fruits so ensure that you scout for botrytis and other diseases that you see attacking uh, the the flowers also something to do with the there are some worms um, that you'll find attacking i've seen specific beetles that will attack flowers make sure that you you know they are controlled and besides that talk to your uh, agronomist uh, to advise you on what uh, fungicides strong fungicides that can be used to control that otherwise it's of no use for you to work so hard have flowers and then you have all the flowers are boating with few or no fruits right tree tomato you get rewarded by the quality of fruits or the fruits that you get so at the end of the day these beautiful we don't sell these beautiful flowers they are not roses we sell fruits so we have to be careful to make sure that our fruits um are well taken care of the other thing that i'll also want to mention is that whenever you see a fruit or rather a tree uh, uh, is, is 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 flowering you have to boost the nutrients um it goes without saying uh don't allow your tree to have any form of water stress uh because 99% of this fruit is, is water. So without water, then how do you expect to have a nice, big-sized uh, fruits? It's virtually next to impossible. Look, look at all that. Those flowers, at least the rate of conversion here is high, and we hope we can keep up, or rather we can keep this trend going on, right? So um, bees, uh, make sure that you have uh, a hive or two in the farm, Make sure that uh, uh, you're scouting for pests and diseases. Um, and water your trees properly. Uh, give them a boost of nutrients. I always say, those who don't like uh, doing soil tests, you'll never go wrong with all the compost manure. This is the time um, to boost your trees. Yes, so hope you have learned something um, on what to do with your flowering at, at flowering stage. I have already posted part one of this video and I did explain the five courses. But for the sake of just a recap, I think um, I talked of the five courses being number one. We talked of pests and diseases, I've expounded. We talked of uh, uh, human activities. Human activities include... Uh, the activities that we carry on in the orchard, including spraying, when your fr fruits are not well spaced, when you're spraying, you're passing here with the hand sprayers and you're knocking the leaves and you find some fruits uh, going down. Number three, we talked of, uh, I've already talked of some agrochemicals uh, are known to cause flower abortion. Flower and fruit abortion. Make sure you read the agrochemicals labels properly there is this famous uh, this there's this very famous um folia i won't mention the name but i noted when i read the label it is used by very many farmers if you read the label it clearly states that this should not be sprayed on flowering uh, plants so someone said oh and no wonder my fruits have been facing a lot of flower abortion, right? Yes, read the labels properly. They are in Swahili, in English. If you can read them, make sure that you have, you can't miss someone who can be able to do the reading, right? Those small fonts, they have all the information that you're looking for. Uh, number four, I talked of the uh, elements, uh, very heavy rainfall. And if you notice here, you can see a bit of that's a flower, a flower, a flower, a flower. We had hailstones here. Uh, and unfortunately, this is expected. Uh, the rains, when they are heavier than normal, they tend to 
of course cause uh, these flowers to fall off but nothing to worry if you look at the number of flowers that we have is a v what uh, we lost this is an acceptable loss then uh, number five uh drought i have mentioned this time and time again uh, when your face when your tree face starvation water starvation drought lack of water stress and everything then you're likely to uh, have some uh, flower uh, abortion and the list goes on and on so uh, you can recap in the other video and you'll be able to see I explained everything and I don't want to repeat uh, everything that I said in my previous uh, video because it's there and available for you to to watch so thank you so much uh, your comments feedback everything is welcome it's quite cold here you can hear me struggling here to breathe because it's up there it's very chilly anyway uh, Kadayam Woda is used to this weather nothing to worry I think the flowering for me has made my day I hope you've learned something uh, subscribe and keep it to this channel ciao bye